September is National Preparedness Month. I spoke with a first aid expert to see what products we should have in case of an emergency. We are visiting with Mr. Brad Greer today. He is a first aid expert with the company Dry Sea, and we'll get to that in a few minutes, some of the products that we can consider getting. But first off, I want to mention it is National Preparedness Month, and a lot of Americans, unfortunately, do not have the first aid necessities needed in case of an emergency in their home. So we're going to get into that a little bit, especially with it, you know, being hurricane season and all and here in, in, in South Louisiana. It's important to have the things that, that we need. Now, Mr. Brad, what would you say are the most important first aid necessities that we should have in our homes? Yeah, well, as you, uh, your viewers may not know, the CDC says that 48% of uh, uh, Americans do not have a first aid kit in their home, and the numbers are even worse for not having first aid kits in your car or automobile. So, yes, in that first aid kit, you should have bandages. Uh, painkillers, uh, ibuprofen, um, an antibiotic uh, uh, ointments, and uh, antiseptics like this, bandages and dressings such as dry sea, which is the world's only liquid indicating waterproof bandage. So have those items ready. Uh, there are other items you should have as well, um, like fire extinguishers in your home. Uh, you should have uh, you know, waiters uh, in South Louisiana, flooding can occur. And if there's flooding, you need waiters to protect yourself to get back to your home and uh, uh, protect loved ones. Definitely. We def that's de definitely a necessity, as you said, down here in South Louisiana. And I do want to talk a little bit more about those bandages that you briefly showed, the dry sea bandages. Tell us more about those. Well, yes, most uh, waterproof bandages uh, like this product are waterproof, but they look exactly the same, wet, dry, and saturated. Dry Sea is the world's only liquid indicating waterproof bandage. So if you have surgery, you can shower um, right after surgery. I've intentionally uh, made this Dry Sea wet with water, and you see it changes color. So if you're swimming, showering, bathing, uh, and there's any leakage or contamination, dry sea changes color, so patients or people generally know when to change their bandage. So if you're swimming in your pool or any waterway, have dry sea on if you have any open wound at all. I love that. So it, 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 no, it kind of notifies you whenever it's time to change that bandage and, and put a fresh one on there. That's, that's very helpful for, for everyone, really. And um, how can we purchase these dry sea bandages? Well, you can purchase Dry Sea at our website. Uh, it's easier to purchase uh, at Amazon. Just type in Dry Sea waterproof bandages and you'll find our product. You guys all shop on Amazon. I know you do. So look up those Dry Sea bandages. And do you have any other advice or last words before we go as far as being prepared, having our homes and our vehicles and just ourselves prepared for any emergencies? Well, great question, and, and, and oftentimes we either choose to evacuate or we're told to evacuate if there's a tropical storm coming our way. So have that automobile um, uh, ready to go with fuel, check your battery, check your tires, have bottled water and snacks for all of your passengers, loved ones, especially your elders and children. Uh, have a headlamp, flashlights for home and in the car in case it's dark. And uh, have a portable phone charger if there's flooding or if there's an accident and you have to maybe an accident or slip off the roadway, you know, uh, around some of the swamp bridges, uh, brid bridges, excuse me, uh, and the police or emergency personnel can't fi find you. Have that emergency whistle so you can blow it so the emergency responders can find you and render assistance. And of course, uh, Liddy, if there's any flooding on the roadways, do not drive in any flood water. That can be very dangerous for all the reasons we know and all the reasons we uh, hear again every year. Mr. Brad, thanks so much for joining us today. It is National Preparedness Month. Make sure you guys are preparing your homes and your vehicles for any emergencies that may occur, especially with this stormy season we're having here in Louisiana. And don't forget to check out Amazon or Dry Sea's website to get those really neat bandages.